Hi, I'm uh, Adriano Paracciani and I live in Rome, Italy. I worked for more than 20 years in telecommunications as a network engineer and then I had some experiences in uh, e learning sector. Um, one day last year I say to myself, mm, it's time to change. Uh, I have been fascinated by educational robotics, therefore I have decided to follow the first edition of Learning Creative Learning. Um, so uh, all started last year and I have to say that LCL helped me to change myself and uh, my life. I have discovered the power of creating computing, uh, the power of scratch and tinkering in education. So I decided to start a new life as an educator. Among all the things I have learned attending uh, LCL1, I would like to spend some words on tinkering and share some experiences I have done. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I have to confess you that before last year I didn't know the meaning of, of the word tinkering. Today I can say that I was already a thinkerer somehow without knowing uh, about the term. Anyway, the real discovery has not been the meaning of the word uh, that is quite similar to the French word bricolage. The real discovery has been uh, realized that thinkering is uh, indeed a learning model. I mean, an amazing way uh, to, to deeply learn different concepts from science to heart. Uh, I like to say uh, that everyone needs to reinvent the wheel uh, by themselves. Uh, in Italy we are used to say to discover the hot water uh, and, and for me tinkering is a perfect way to discover the hot water to uh, reinvent the wheel. During LCL I started to build what I call Scarabots. The name comes from Scarabocchi, that is the Italian for scribbles, and Scarabots are homemade robots that make scribbles. Uh, the feature that makes them so fascinating is that they are made with recovered materials such as cans of tuna, used CD, paper clips, plastic pipes, piece of packaging and so on. At the end of LCL1 last year, Maria Beatrice and me have had the chance to put into practice what we had learned. For the first time in Rome has been organized by us a thinkering lab during a public event. It has been a real challenge because we had never done before. The event was the Journalist in the Green, that is the, an annual journalist award for boys and girls uh, from 5 to 21 years old. Uh, during this event we have held several workshops for making Scarabots from zero. We had the great success we didn't expect. I can say, for example, that some scarabots on a couple of tables full of materials and tools available for creating your robots hacked like a big magnet where young people are immediately attracted to. Um, it has been a fantastic experience and the first opportunity to apply the important concept that makes thinkering different from do-it-yourself and tinkering different from the makers movement. Uh, the main difference is about the use of instructions. Following the core concept of tinkering, I have not provided any detailed instructions but only showed them some Scarabots samples, explained how the circuit works and some ways to build connections from battery to the engine. Then I said, well, now it's your turn. 
let yourself be inspired by the materials you have available, by the scarabot you see here, and try to create your home with no fear of mistakes or fail. We are here to experiment. So try and have fun. It was really amazing to see, for instance, the satisfaction on Gloria's face, a 13 years old girl who made a working scarabot, the only one in that day. She discovered the hot weather she discovered she was able to build something she thought impossible before. So I suggest you to read my post A Thinkering Day in Rome to have a detailed view of this great experience. Um, uh, uh, and just in that day, at the end of May, a friend of mine came to me and said Are you going to participate to the Maker Fair? you should be there. Uh, in October, in Rome, there was the first European edition of Maker Fair, an amazing success with more than 35,000 visitors. Uh, I, have presented as I have presented a Scarabot Thinkering Lab along with Maria Beatrice and her husband Luca who collaborated with me during the four days event. It has been an, an incredible experience. Hundreds of people of all ages attended our thinking stand, fascinated by the scarabots and by the idea to try to build one by themselves. Girls, boys, kids, adults, teachers, educators, many have come to the stand to know about what those strange machines were, to touch them, to put them in motion, asking for a lot of questions about how to build them or how to have a workshop in their schools. Um, in the last day, we held a thinkering workshop for a dozen people, uh, young and adults. They sat at the table and have experienced the creative construction of scarabots. It was nice to see them rummage inside the boxes, searching for materials and objects to use for their robot. It was nice to, to see creativity at work, to see ideas left free to turn into things to see people free to experiment without fear of judgment or reading. It was interesting to see the different reaction and attitudes to the various stage, stages that take place during these experiences. Uh, let me say another fantastic thing that happened during the workshop. While I wandered among the tables to follow the work of the participants, I saw a young woman who was not building Scarabot. She was Camille, a French product designer interested in the maker's movement. I went close to her and I realized that she was doing what she was doing. She was documenting with beautiful drawings the details of implementation of each scarabot. Really amazing. So the Irish poet William Butler Yeats said, Education is not the feeling of a pail, but the, but the lighting of a fire. This is exactly what thinking can do.